Hello everyone, my name is Masood. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a long time, hope you're doing well. Uh, in today's video, I have a very, very deep and interesting question that I'd like to share my thoughts on and perhaps open up a little bit of a discussion to see what the rest of the physio community and if you're just a random person on this channel, what you had to say and what you had to think um, about this question. So the question is, will physiotherapists ever be replaced by robots? Now, I want to explain my thought process a little bit as to why I'm actually thinking like this. Well, over the past couple of years, I think not just physios, but um, many, many jobs have had to adapt uh, their ways of practice um, via the use of technology and particularly physiotherapy uh, and physio students um, have had to use and rely on things like e-learning and Zoom calls um, to continue their education uh, with physio and, um, you know, improve their practice. However, physiotherapy in general is quite a human to human interaction heavy practice and, you know, doing things like practicals online it's really like, so it's it's such so different from what you actually should be doing, and that the quality of your learning is um, like so low in comparison to doing it face to face, because physio in, in itself is quite practical, um, and uh, yeah, you know, doing things like seminars and lectures, though they are quite information heavy, you're still with other people, you can still discuss things, but. You've obviously had to do things like, you know, asking questions via Zoom call and stuff like that. Um, now, I I think a lot of universities uh, have have started to implement face to face. Um, I'm not actually aware of the specific number, but um, I know that with uh, restrictions that the government continue to put out, um, we will obviously uh, keep be keeping or it looks like it will be keeping the same um changes things like you know the the uh digital learning that we're doing a lot of students are doing we will be sort of keeping that in the time to come that's the impression that i get i'm not sure about others but um coming on to the question uh will physios ever be replaced by robots i think that Mm, I think that physios in general, like if you are a physio and you're seeing a patient, you it requires a lot of emotion and it requires a lot of um, skills. Well, yeah, emotion really, emotion and things that only humans, I, I can only fathom, I can only think that only humans can think, can feel these things. I could never think that a robot could feel like an emotion. I could be wrong, uh, you know, it's early days in 2020, who knows what will happen in like 2100 or whatever. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so, you know, as a, as a physio, you want that rewarding feeling when you're helping someone, uh, when you're helping someone achieve their better health goals. And as a patient, I would imagine you would want someone, another person, like a professional friend, um, guiding you and reassuring you about what exactly to do to get back to what you're doing before um, and help improve your health. Um, so in that respect, I don't think uh, the I don't think robots can uh, replace physios. However, I do think that robots can provide a secondary avenue to promote self-help uh, and empower people who want to improve their health. And what I mean by that is things like um, inf like m more information and more practical ways that um, patients can actually carry out their rehab at home uh, with the advent of like AI and like, you know, those, I don't even know what it's called, the, the glasses, the, uh, the oculus glasses i'm pretty sure there's going to be some way that patients can do their rehab at home with that instead of seeing the physio in person but um yeah i'm just in I'm, I'm just uh thinking like uh how effective is that going to be i don't know 
Um, again, this is a very open video. I would like to hear your thoughts if you had any. Um, uh, my hand is getting tired. One second. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think that uh, robots will have... Well, to be honest, I think that... Um, Younger people in general are, it's going to be very interesting to see like what, what younger people, uh, how younger physios uh, who will, will be coming into the workforce in like 10 years time will behave because our behaviours are adapting and everything is changing so much that um, it's inevitable to really take a step backward or, or stay as we are because the technology um it impacts and impacts the way that humans behave and so i think that physio will change and um there's going to be less human interaction i think that's inevitable but i don't think robots can ever replace humans um just because uh yeah humans provide that you know robots can't provide that magic touch that physios can they can't provide the emotional things that the value, emotional value that a human can. So, uh, very cool video. <laughs> I'm gonna, I could probably talk about this for forever because it's a very deep question. Um, but again, it's a discussionary video. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments. Um, uh, I would like to hear what you had to say. Um, apart from that, also, please feel free to uh, share your video ideas. Um, I would like to learn more about what you want me to post uh, on this channel. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching this video and I really appreciate it. Um, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.